Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for writing to our live session. As I understand your situation, you're very frustrated because, number one, you'll enjoy watching YouTube, but there's a lot of haram content on there. Additionally, you do want to find fun things to do that are enjoyable. Um, however, you don't always want to spend time with your family for fun, and that's understandable. Um, balance is always good, right? Um, especially when we're choosing things to do in our lives. Um, number one, it's important, of course, that it, the activities that we engage in are not haram and that they're halal and acceptable to Allah. So with that said, being that you do enjoy watching YouTube videos, perhaps you can make a list of videos that are not haram and that don't have um, nudity or partial nudity or swear words or other things that could have neg negative impact, right? Um, there may be a list online somewhere, perhaps um, an Islamic website or um, a parental uh, recommendation website may have a list of videos, YouTubes, that you can watch that don't contain um, partial nudity or swear words or other things that are not wholesome, right? Um, I know that's a big concern, especially also not just with, you know, teens who want to remain um, with pure content, but also it's a concern of parents who don't want their children watching things that are not good for them. So you might want to make a list yourself by researching different videos or different topics you would like to see on YouTube. Or you could check, like I said again, um, Islamic websites, um, movie reviews by parents, um, and things like that. Um, and that might help you to get a list of um, good content that you can watch on YouTube. So with that said, um, you also might want to make a list of the things that you enjoy doing or that you could enjoy doing or learning, right? Like picking up a new hobby or learning a new skill. Um, you said that you haven't learned to cook or bake. Perhaps that's something you may be interested in learning how to do. Additionally, you could also make a list of projects you would like to start. Maybe there's an art project you'd like to start or collecting um, certain things such as maybe collecting different um books or magazines or different rock figures and painting them. I mean, there's so many different creative things to do, right, and create. So that's another idea. Um, you might want to look at board games and, you know, again, the same principle. Look for board games for reviews online, board games that don't have to do with gambling or throwing dice. There's tons of, of board games out there that are very entertaining, fun, and don't involve um, gambling and playing with the dice, right? So again, it's just a little bit of research on your part um, to make a nice list of, you know, YouTube videos and movies and hobbies um, and games and things you can do that are not haram, don't involve nudity or partial nudity, swearing, um, throwing dice and other things, right? So you can compile a really nice list um, and do your research on it and come up with a really nice sizable um, scale of, you know, things you might be wanting to do. So don't give up. Don't be upset. There's, oh, there's always a solution, right? And... Um, you sound like you're very smart and very creative, and I'm sure that you'll be able to come up with a lot, a lot of halal entertainment ideas just by, you know, checking for, you know, lists and looking and investing the time and the energy into looking at reviews, okay? Um, that has always been very helpful, not only, again, like for parents and Others, you know, teenagers and adults who are concerned about the content of entertainment. Um, 
So please do, you know, think about, you know, making lists and doing the research, gathering some ideas, being open to different things, different hobbies, different games, um, and different social situations. We wish you the best.